Hello YouTube, I'm Jack Clark, you here coming to you with another video. Hi, how are you? So before I get to the actual topic of today's video, I'd like to just say thank you ever so much to the person who brought my Mermel deck. I've now got a little bit of money which I'm now going to try and invest into me and my girlfriend trying to move out into the big bad scary world and try to become functioning members of society. So all very, very exciting stuff. But in addition to that, I'm going to be using some of that money to actually invest towards a new deck. So if you have any ideas for a new deck that I should try my hand at, then say so in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you, I'll try anything really. But we're now going to get onto the actual topic of today's video, and that is not how my crazy my hair is, I know, I'm sorry, it's a, it's it's not cooperating today. But today I'm going to be talking about the new galaxy cards that are going to be coming out in Primal Origins. However, before you get too excited, I mean, it's exactly the same situation as the new Chronomaly stuff and Heraldic Beast stuff. Everyone's like, oh my god, this. These are amazing, they make the deck so playable and epic, and oh my god, the OTK is this, ah, oh, the salt, 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 salt. And then they realised that it was only going to be for a certain territory, and that wasn't going to be their territory. The new Galaxy support, which I've, I'm going to be talking about today, are only going to be in Japan, and Japan exclusive in their Primal Origins. We are going to be getting different world exclusives, so we're not going to get these for a much longer time then when Primal Origins comes out, which sucks, but I want to talk to you about these cards because I love the Galaxy um, Archetype, the Galaxy Photon Archetype as a whole, I do like it. I mean, an Archetype based on theoretical particles of matter, and then there's time, there's also space and planets and shit, and oh, what, there are dragons as well? Oh my god, sign me up, yes. So the first card I'm going to be talking about to you today is called Galaxy Eyes Cloud Dragon, which is a level 1 dragon light monster 300 attack 500 defense and of course its effect is as follows you contribute this card to special summon one galaxy eyes monster from your hand or graveyard except galaxy eyes cloud dragon you can only use this effect of galaxy eyes cloud dragon once per turn if this card is in your graveyard you can target one galaxy eyes exes monster you control and attach this card to that monster as an exes material you can only use this effect of galaxy eyes cloud dragon once per duel so this is a pretty damn cool card, mainly because of Galaxy Photon decks, as it stands without these support cards that I'm going to be telling you about, are a rank 8 spam deck. As much as they can spam out Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, like no one's business, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon on its own, it really isn't much. It's got some pretty good niche with its whole kind of battle step shenanigans and be able to banish itself and its target and be able to dodge stuff like Mirror Force and Deep Prison. It's a pretty cool niche and with 3,000 attack points and being able to summon it like a drop of the hat is fantastic. However, the card itself has no inbuilt protection or anything like that, so you're most likely in most situations, you're better off going for Felgrand Dragon Knight, which is what Galaxy Eyes and Galaxy Photon decks actually do at this moment in time. However, Galaxy Eyes Cloud Dragon and the rest of these support cards make it a little bit more usable because they have direct support for Galaxy Eyes. So of course, you tribute him to summon a Galaxy Eyes monster from your hand or graveyard. This will most certainly be Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon since that's the most searchable of all of the Galaxy Eyes targets. However, of course, this can summon your Galaxy Eyes Xyz monsters from your hand or graveyard. Most likely from your graveyard because you can't have them in your hand. But in addition to that, if it's in your graveyard, of course you can attach it to a Galaxy Eyes Xyz monster. So if you do revive one of the Galaxy Eyes Xyz monsters with its effect, then you can then attach it to that monster and then continue using its effect and like actually have some effects and utility with it, which is pretty cool niche as well. But what this is mainly going to be used as is just literally getting back Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon from your graveyard. Because like in a Photon Galaxy deck, you can summon Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon very easily. You can summon directly from the deck. You can search for them, summon them from your hand. However, after you've well, after you've summoned them all from your deck, where are you going to summon them from them then? And they're pretty easy to get rid of. So Galaxy Eyes Cloud Dragon allows you to simply just summon it from the graveyard. Fantastic, literally. You just send the Galaxy Eyes grave to the graveyard. Oh no, what am I going to do? No, I'll just summon Cloud Dragon. And for the cost of a normal summon, you get a 3,000 attack point beat up with battle face shenanigans. Love it. What's not to love about that? And of course, it's pretty nice. Just generally, it's got utility outside of that. But the next card is where this card properly shines, and that is called Galaxy Soldier, which is a light machine monster, 2,000 attack, zero defense, level 5. Now, I saw level 5, I was like, oh, God, why couldn't you just be a photon monster and be level 4? Then we'd have Star Liege Lord Galaxion um, bait. But actually, this card has a pretty unique effect, which actually probably made me even better than having that kind of utility. You can send a light monster from your hand to the graveyard to special summon it from your hand in face-off defense position. And of course, when it is special summoned, you can add a galaxy monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Galaxy Soldier once per turn, so that, ooh, 
that's pretty damn nifty. Now, of course, it only allows you to search for Galaxy Monsters, and of course, you'll have to use Galaxy Wizard to search for the spells and traps, like, of course, Galaxy Expedition, which is what is the most likely target for it. But this allows you to search for Galaxy Monsters, so search for a wizard, get some more searches going, because, of course, this doesn't use your normal summon, so use Galaxy Soldier, get rid of a light monster that you don't want in your hand anymore, summon this, get a Galaxy Wizard, nor summon Galaxy Wizard, and then, of course, use its vet search for something else. Just keep on going through your deck, making it more consistent and such. That's one example of things you can do with it. But what I love about this card particularly is because in Galaxy Photon decks, if you draw into your Galaxy Earth Photon Dragon, as much as it does have its inbuilt summoning condition, which allows you to summon it at the cost of tributing two monsters with 2,000 or more attack points, as much as just, you don't want to do that. That sucks. Don't do that. That is really bad. And in most cases, you're going to have better ways of summoning it anyway, most likely from the deck or the graveyard or from your hand in other ways. However, this card allows you to get rid of the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon in your hand, send it to the graveyard to be summoned back by da -da 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 -da, Galaxy Eyes Cloud Dragon, which can be searched by this card's secondary effect. In addition, this card's secondary effect doesn't just activate when it is summoned by its own effect, it activates when it's a special summon full stop. So Call of the Haunted, which of course you could use in a Galaxy Eyes Photon deck anyway, to summon a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon from the graveyard, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to find this guy to get more searches and more pluses. Yeah, sure. Your opponent is going to do um, some effect to destroy your back row. Call of the Haunted, search the, summon this, search for a card. It gets popped. It goes to the graveyard. Yay, pluses. Woo! And that's pretty damn cool. So, and more searching cards? Can't hurt. Last card I'm going to be talking about is a spell card. It's not a searching card before you ask. We've already got plenty of those for the Galaxy Photon deck now. But it is what we have all been waiting on. It is the Photon Stream of Destruction, the long-awaited attack card for the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. And it is an okay card, actually. It is a quick play spell, which, of course, if you control a Galaxy Eyes monster, you can banish a card on the field. Just, just straight up back. Banish. Goodbye. Be gone. But if you do not control a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon you can only activate it during your turn. So, of course, it m gets rid of the quick play functionality if it's not Photon Dragon specifically, but can be used if it is used in conjunction with Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon or Tachyon Dragon, which gives it a bit more utility because you're not always going to be summoning Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Its Xyzes may be a better option for the given situation. So this is a pretty nice damn cool card. It probably won't be used at free. I'm going to say that now. Maybe as a tech card, you get rid of some pro problematic monsters that, well, attacking it with a 3,000 attack point beta won't do, but okay. It can also get rid of any cards, not just monsters, spells, traps, anything that is causing you grief. Banish it with a photon stream of destruction. That's pretty damn cool. In conjunction with Galaxy Eyes Cloud Dragon and Galaxy Soldier, I am just kicking myself that I don't live in Japan right now, because of course these are Japan exclusive, and they're going to be for a hell of a long time. Now I know how the Heraldic Beast and Chronomaly fanboys feel sad face but that's pretty much it guys of course in the comments down below tell me what you think about these free cards and of course if you want to check them out in more detail then they will have links to their Yu-Gi-Oh! wikia pages so you can see out them all in their groovy detail in the description down below but that's pretty much it guys i will be reviewing more of their primal origin stuff in future there's some pretty damn new car cool cards that have been announced and i can't wait so i'm going to go through those at a later date but until then my name is jack clark the musketeer more videos coming out to you soon but until then Goodbye. Ah, I'm gonna keep getting there. Right, I'm gonna go now.